Hey guys, welcome back to another show. Talk about statement. This is Tab by Ellen Villa. I decided to put on the salt and pepper gray because I really find that grays are so fashionable. I don't feel like there should be an age restriction on who can wear grays and who can't. So take a look at this, you guys. Such a statement. It's neck hugging. It's a pixie. There's so many different ways to wear this, and I'm gonna go over that in just a moment, but let's take a look at this color. This is called Salt and Pepper Rooted. It's a light natural brown with 75% gray. You also have a medium brown with 70% gray, and then you have that pure white blend with that dark root. How absolutely gorgeous is this? I mean, I am truly digging this style and this look. Something that I would never actually choose, but now that I have it on, I find it to be really fashionable and kind of edgy. Take a look at the back. You can see how nape hugging this particular style is. And it also has a really wonderful lace front. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I would style it. So you could either wear it down and this is pretty much how it comes. Now, when you get it, I did read some of your reviews. Some of you stated that when you got it, there were just so many hairs sticking up that you didn't know how to manage that or style it. It just looked really frizzy. So I'm gonna kind of go over some styling techniques. Let's go for it. Okay, so first what I do is when I put it on, it's gonna be really frizzy at first, and I just kind of take my fingers and just maneuver all those fibers kind of forward. So I love how these little pieces right here kind of go against my brow bone. And then you can take these little fringe pieces and comb them down. There's also another product here. It's called the Beauty Mark Shaping Cream. There you go. And what I do is I just take a tiny, tiny bit on my fingers, maybe about that much. And once you use this, you guys, throughout the week, you shouldn't have to use any more. You could just spray a little water and it'll reactivate it. So just to kind of give you another look. Make sure you get those fibers on the neck kind of hugging. But look at that lace front, you guys. You could even put these down a little more I like how edgy it looks when it's sticking up. That's just the style, you guys. But so many different ways. And it has that mono crown right here. So that's what gives it that body and that naturalness. But what do you think? This is the salt and pepper rooted. And I just styled it up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Really edgy. I really like it. Let's see about putting these forward. What do you guys think? I'm really loving it. I would actually wear it down. That's just my preference, but you have all these other options, you guys, and look at that lace front. So seamless, super natural, it's not itchy. It is a synthetic. So you have options with that shaping cream or just put a little water in your hands and feel free to go at it and just play. You know, we want you to kind of step outside your box and do things that you normally wouldn't do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back down because that's how I prefer to wear it. Like that is super cute. And I kind of like these up a little more so it gives it more body. All right, let's move on to the next color. This is Bernstein Mix. It's a light brown base with subtle light honey blonde and a light butterscotch blonde highlight. How gorgeous. This one is the mix, so you do not have that dark brown root. You just have those beautiful butterscotch highlights. Let's take a look inside the cap, guys. All right, this one has that beautiful lace front, very seamless. You can wear it off your face or wear it down like I am. 
And then this is pretty interesting. A lot of you might be confused when you read what this wig has in it and you might read that it has a monofilament but it actually just has a monofilament crown so it's about the size of a quarter and basically where that is is it's right here so you can see that's what kind of gives it that style you guys and it makes it look super natural so it's not a full mono top it just has the mono crown that's what gives it that body right there. This is Bernstein Mix. I'm wearing mine in Salt and Pepper Rooted. Let's move on to the next one because I think this color is really natural. And obviously, it's such a gorgeous color. Anybody can wear this. If you're natural brown and you don't really want to kind of step outside and get all those crazy colors, this is a really pretty color and it's called chocolate mix it's a medium dark brown base with light reddish brown highlights you see all those really pretty highlights but super fashionable you guys again when i wear these short wigs especially in the gray you might be like oh it's gonna make me look old or whatnot and I find it to be really fashionable it's all in how you present and carry yourself ladies everybody's beautiful just try something new every now and then you might surprise yourself okay guys this is tab by Ellen Villa let me know what you think in the comments if you've received this wig before I love to hear you know how it made you feel I will see you guys next time